Welcome, Henny. We are so pleased um, that you've allowed us to use some of your work during our forthcoming domestic abuse conference. And really, I just wanted to talk to you briefly to give a bit of context about the work and a bit of background. Yeah. So I wondered if you could just start by telling me something. Have you worked in many projects that are to do with social justice, politics and art and merge those together? <laughs> yeah. Um... In fact, the project I'm about to do is about learning disability. So I've been the artist in residence for the Institute of Learning Disability for the past six months. Mm -hmm. And I am putting on two exhibitions at the same time, one in Worthing, which I've worked with groups. So there's two big groups of artists who have learning disabilities, one in Brighton and one in Worthing. And I've been doing workshops with them and we're going to put their work on display and the more sort of political work that I've been doing for the um, Institute of Learning Disabilities um, it, uh, is also going to go on display. So the idea is my work has equal weight to the work of the people with learning disabilities and we are pre preparing an event which will be a supper. So a lot of the work that we've done is that is going to be transferred onto plates and we're going for the opening, we're going to have a supper and all the artists who have created the drawings will be invited to the supper. And as a kind of metaphor of everyone deserves a place at the table. So people who don't normally get a place at the table, particularly with learning disabilities, I mean, 5% of people at the moment, it's gone down since lockdown. 5% uh, of people with learning disabilities are in paid employment and it's, wrong i mean there's the college my daughter goes to has learned disability her college managed to get 65 percent employment so it can be done but it just isn't you know if there's a will there's a way basically so i've done that and then i also um cartoon for the guardian so that's also artwork and politics combined so yeah <laughs> thank you that's just really nice for people to sort of get a bit of a context thank of you. your work um so how did this particular project come about the paintings um, of the 118 women yeah um it was i mean it was it was prompted by a sort of series of events really um, so i it was the sarah everard um her disappearance but it was also the two girls, uh, Mina Smallman's daughters, Biba and Nicole, um, who were murdered in the park. And um, there was, initially I had this in, this feeling that, you know, Sarah Everard's murder had become so um, huge and such an enormous amount of publicity. And there were all, obviously this large number of other women who there was no publicity around. Um, so I guess it was hearing Jess Phillips, actually, if I think back properly, it was hearing Jess Phillips read out all those names in Parliament and thinking, I've only heard of Sarah Everard. There are all these other women who've been murdered and I don't know their stories. Um, and I don't know what they look like. So, um, and it was also, there was um, another, there was a woman talking on the radio about her sister who had been murdered and how um, that, that online often that they would put her sister's image against the murderer and, and how powerful, a pay, painful. Um, it was to encounter that, you know, if it, she ever saw her sister's image, she, it was kind of linked in um, online. So I wanted to do something which was a tribute to these women that would exist separately um, and that, that I didn't, wouldn't mention how they were murdered or, or go into the details of that, but as a, as a tribute and as a memorial to, to the women. So that's how it came about. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really poignant thing isn't it painting and then erasing those paintings yeah. I think it, yeah. it's sort of very beautiful and very poignant at the same time yeah I guess a lot of domestic abuse it is not you know killings by domestic abuse are not really heard about and people aren't really heard yeah. or known about so you know yeah I mean I went and met actually one of the families um Gemma Marjoram her mum we there was a Swiss Bizarrely, a Swiss film company were, started, were making a program about domestic violence in the UK and they contacted me and asked if I would be involved and I said yeah. So we went and met um, 
the mum who'd contacted me um, having seen the image and she said because it was a domestic uh, case of domestic abuse and then and domestic murder it was her ex-husband um, and it was in Norwich she felt that it had just been swept under the carpet that no one cared and um, she was really pleased that I'd you know that I'd painted her daughter and she has it I I was the I was able to give her the picture which was my intent I mean I, number one I didn't really want to have a, a collection myself of all these pe women um and um so I anyone who contacted me who wanted the painting I I sent them to them so you've obviously set up some kind of you know relationship or contact with, with yeah people. with a number of people I did and also then through the Centre for Women's Justice I was I was getting so many emails from families I was like I don't you know I don't really know how to cope with this and they um uh and we talked it through and they gave me a list of people to um refer them on to so there's a great after female after fatal domestic violence there is it's, it's called after this association that helps um families so and various other sort of charities that are involved in helplines i was able to give them to yeah. family members yeah we're having an australian academic come and talk about um working with children who've lost parents through domestic abuse as well mm. yeah yeah. And so how have practitioners um, and people working in domestic abuse, have they given you much feedback on your project? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, through email and through Twitter, yeah, people have been incredibly positive about it. And um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that, that <laughs> they have been incredibly positive and I'm pleased that... I think because of the fact that domestic abuse is not something that gets put in the newspapers as much as you know the sort of random stranger who commits this appalling act that the, the you know the husband or the grandfather son you know they or the you know the person known where it's not a sort of dramatic obviously it's dramatic for the family but where the papers don't feel the stories as yeah. exciting I don't know that um yeah it's just, it's just sort of hidden away isn't it so it's yeah. a real opportunity I suppose to bring it into the light yeah, isn't it, by yeah. This. yes exactly yeah. what are your plans for the exhibition now um Henny have you got plans for the painting yeah so the um working with some other people now is that um so we've been talking to the um, GLA, so the Greater London Assembly, about putting a display of the work, uh, projecting the work um, on White Ribbon Day or in the week of White Ribbon Day um, and, um, and, and getting a kind of cross-party group on board to highlight domestic abuse and domestic violence um, against women and girls. So that's the plan. So that would be November coming. Yeah. And that would be potentially illuminating it on a... Yes, it would be projecting it um, either directly onto a wall or there's something you can you project up onto the water. So I don't quite understand how that happens, but would, I mean, in a way, I think a projector, projection would be fitting because it can the ethereal nature of light onto um but because it's on such a big scale we we don't want to do it without any permissions so we we are so there's i think there's something like 50 people who i've sent images out to so um and they have been contacted about and are all on board with that so we wouldn't include anyone who who um you know hasn't given permission or we haven't been able to contact for whatever reason yeah yeah i mean it would be great to do that in the four nations really wouldn't it across the different countries you know possibly yeah in Wales yeah as well so uh, yeah. yeah yeah well we're we're hoping to um i think send out a few images um like, during the course of our conference um yeah. every, every couple of days just so people get a sense of them yeah. and hopefully and um, put them on our exchange website as well yeah. so 
um, you know, we're really grateful for you, for you for letting us access them. And, um, you know, just, I was just amazed when we came across it, it was just such a poignant thing to do. And, you know, it's fantastic when, I suppose, you know, as, as researchers, we're um, trying to work with social justice all the time. I do research into domestic abuse, so it's great to see it being taken from a different angle. Um, yeah, yeah and, and people coming together, really. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. It's really kind of you to give me the time. <laughs> and uh, really, um, you know, look forward to seeing them being uh, disseminated. So th th thank you very much. Oh, pleasure. <laughs>